What's up, everybody? It's the Roof Piper checking in. Well, as usual, on a roof, working on the equipment back there. Man, it's been an exciting few days. Sunday was the third uh, Los Angeles Pipe Club uh, meetup, and that went really, really cool. That that was nice. It, you know, it's never enough time to to hang out. It's never. I ended up leaving really late. The owner of uh, Briar Hound in Pasadena, California, and another. Another guy, I think his name is Frank. He makes leather pouches. He, uh, us three, stayed behind and you know just talk, shop, and really nice. I mean, it's a good community we have going, and it's 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 nice. But like I said, it's never enough time to share and talk. And there's so many people you can't get to everybody. smoking my Mario Grande Bulldog well, it's not a Bulldog because it doesn't have a diamond shank so this is a Rhodesian who knows this is kind of cool and uh, in it I'm smoking some Margate solid English and a very special thanks to Stutter on Instagram, Cynthia. Thank you so much for sharing your tobacco with me. Thank you to Susan. It was very nice to see you guys. It's always a pleasure. Thank you to um, Kelly Pipe Girl. She came out. That was very fun for the first time to the, to the Los Angeles Pipe Club. And I got to see her spend some time. And thank you for um, I'm gonna change hands here. here. Um, my hand was getting tired. Mm, I'm enjoying this. Margate is solid, solid, solid English. Um, thank you to uh, Cali Pipe Girl for introducing me to Peter Heinrich's Dark Strong. I did not think I was gonna like it, and you know what? It's good I I think it just bumped out um, three nuns I used to like three nuns somewhat for a Virginia just a just a change of pace but dark strong took over um, so thank you Kelly pipe girl thank you um, stutter thank you Susan thank you for thank you to all the Los Angeles pipe club members that showed up it was nice it was nice to see you guys and um, I'm sorry for Justin Fig that he could never make it, and Joshua the Master Pipe. He um, th their schedules are busy, and Sundays is not a good day for them. My pipe went up. Hold on a second. Copious amounts of smoke. You gotta learn how to do things with one hand when you're making videos. Oh, this is my. Um, this is the first time making a video on my iPhone six. I didn't. I didn't get the six plus. My wife did, and that thing is a monster. I graduated from a 4S, which is the little little iPhone, to a 6, and I'm very pleased. So far, so good. The picture quality is amazing. I took my phone fishing. I went fishing. I just came back last night. So I left on Monday night, and yeah, I left Monday night. We left about 7. We got to San Clemente 
we, we took it easy. We went really slow. We got there about four in the morning, San Clemente, and there were a bunch of boats there. Two are going off on that corner on the west end of the island, I believe. And so we, we, we soaked some bait for a little while and nothing. It was just too much boat pressure. So we decided to venture out and start going towards Catalina. And it was hard fishing, um, you know, glassing, 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 glassing all the time. Finally, we could see a breezer here and there. So we'll go chase it. And Tuna didn't want anything to do with boats. As soon as we would get there, boom, they will dive, forget it. So we would sneak up on them with the boat very slowly and then throw a jig at them and we would snag one, two max per breezer. And you know, it was hard fishing, but it was good fishing. We caught, we caught some um, yellowfin tuna, uh, some, um, we, we found some kelp patty, so we would stop and fish that, soak, soak some bait. We saw Dorado that wanted nothing to do with us. We saw Yellowtail that wanted nothing to do with us. I hung one, I hung a Yellowtail. It was a little one, so I, I let it go. Um, and then, um, about, I wanna say two o'clock, 2.30, the water became slick, really, really slick. And um, we started seeing uh, elephant seals show up. And normally when you see elephant seals on a, on a I forget what tide it's called, um, when, when the water gets that slick about two o'clock and you see an elephant seal, that means that, that, means that there's um, swordfish around. And we spotted, we spotted two swordfish. We couldn't, we couldn't get them to bite. Normally, when they're up on the surface, it's because they've been feeding all night and they're going through, um, they're a little drunk from fishing and they're recuperating from the hunt, so they don't really want to eat. So that's the best time to harpoon them, but we weren't set up for that. And they wouldn't bite. And then, you know, it was getting late. We were coming back home and we spotted a marlin, a little sleeper and we baited it and we hooked it so if you follow me on instagram i'm gonna put up a, put up a video on um on that that um on that fight um it was good it was a good fight uh the marlin it was a striper it was about 150 pounds we fought it for about i don't know 40 minutes on 65 pound um it was 65 pound of fluorocarbon on 65 pound uh, spectra. So we wanted to kind of take it easy. We didn't want to break it off, but it was fun landing it. We didn't kill it. We let it go, catch and release. I used to a big time, I used to be a big time fisherman uh, before I had family. Um, I used to go out there in the summer every other weekend I was out there fishing for two days on the San Diego uh, crew San Diego boats but you know my oldest son was born and my love for fishing was quickly replaced and now every time i go out fishing it's it's a, a real treat so i do miss it but i love my kids more than that so eventually when they get a little older i am gonna take them and, and show them the the joy of fishing it's it's something else if you guys have not done any deep sea water fishing it's it's something else it's definitely it's like this you get hooked <laughs> it's like like your pipe hobby you can't stop buying pipes can't stop trying new tobacco. So, something similar. So, um, so far so good with, um, oh, guess what I'm eating tonight? That's right, seared tuna. That's what I'm eating. 
anyway but uh, the phone um, I'm really liking my phone I haven't really had much time to explore what what the features are because I got the phone literally two hours I got the phone at four o'clock and at seven o'clock six six o'clock I was on the boat seven o'clock we were leaving so not much time there because you got to do some work on the boat so you can't really mess mess around with your phone and then on the way back there's no signal then I just you know got home last night about 9 30 and you know I had to clean my fillets a little bit better before putting them in the freezer so I went to sleep maybe about I went I went to my bedroom about 11 took a shower by the time I wasn't I was in bed by 12 and um, I have not had a real good chance to mess with the phone but the, the picture quality is awesome uh, if you notice the the video now adjusts and I don't have to be pressing on the screen to to have it adjust I'm liking it so a lot of exciting things and I'm thinking um, Margate is replacing um, meat candy or meat pie I talk too much Jesus So if you have some dark strong that you want to trade, um, hit me up. I got pelican to trade. I'm sorry, pelican's not that good for me. I got pelican. I'll trade you a, a tin of pelican for a tin of uh, dark strong. And I have a bag of Margate, so I don't need to trade Margate. Well, what else do I have to say? Um, can't wait for the next uh, meetup. Hopefully, um, I we could get it changed to maybe on a Saturday so that Joshua and um, Justin Fig could could show up. Um, I miss hanging with those guys, and you know, they're they're cool people. So as um, and I've met other cool people as well. I mean, the, the definitely the club is growing and it's nice. It's nice to know that in Los Angeles we got pipe smokers. I feel a little bit embarrassed because I didn't get a chance to try any of the uh, Briarhound uh, blends. But eventually we're going to, that's going to be our home. So we're going to meet there from now on and I'll eventually get to try it. So, make sure you, uh, he's going to open up an online store, briarhound.com, I believe, or look him up on the web, Briar, Briarhound uh, in Pasadena, California. So, let me take a little swig of my coffee. Not, bull, not bulletproof today, I, I didn't have time, I was tired. Well... That's it for me. I'm gonna continue enjoying my pipe before I get back to work. All right, this is the Roof Piper checking out. Later.